write out your budget, know what you need to live off of right now where you live, and then use that and you can estimate what you think it'll cost you to live out here in Vegas. Hi right, guys, it's Jacob Orth back here with another video of Jacob's life in Vegas, here answering your guys' questions about Las Vegas, and this is a common one. I get from people getting ready to move out here. So I'll jump into it in just a second, but before I do, thank you guys for watching this video. All of you that have subscribed so far and helped my subscriber base grow, you guys have been awesome. You guys have been amazing at sharing the video, sharing the content, and commenting. Please like the video. Please go check out my website, jacobslifeinvegas.com. You can get on my email list to get more videos in the future. You can also follow me on Twitter, at Jacob's Vegas Life, and on Instagram, at Jacob's Life in Vegas. That is my Instagram name. So, getting to it. This is a common question. Common, common, common. People ask me, how much money should I save before I move to Vegas? And I understand the question because I had the same one when I was getting ready to come out here and I know where they're coming from. Um, but I'm going to put it a bit differently because there's a few things wrong with the way that question is even asked. Um, one, that question is going to largely depend on each individual person. So, you know, coming here to, for me to just give some arbitrary amount and say that's the set amount for everybody doesn't work very well because each person's case is going to be different based on the situation they're in, based on their spending habits, based on all those kind of factors. So a better way to ask that would probably be how many months of expenses do I need to have saved before I move to Vegas? Because if you're 22 years old coming out here, maybe you don't really have any debt, you're in a very different position coming out here if you're single with no kids and your position is very different from someone who's coming out here maybe they're 37 their job transferred them out here their spouse needs to find work they've got three young children two of them need to be in daycare the oldest one wants they want to put in private school and maybe they've got some debt of their own those are two incredibly different scenarios so what you need to do is write out your monthly budget for where you live now start tracking your money now before you even move to Vegas, okay? This is important because you need to have an idea of how much it costs you to live each month. Have all your expenses tracked out and be sure to keep on top of it because when you're getting ready to move here, you can look at Vegas. Maybe you're coming from a big city where you know Vegas is gonna be a cheaper place to live. I mean, you can estimate what do you think your rent's gonna be what you think your food's gonna be, what you think you're gonna spend on gas. You know, you can look at a lot of these prices online and just get an estimate. And that's all you're probably gonna be able to do is just do your best estimate. But you also wanna leave yourself some cushion in your uh, budget as well. So when I came out here, uh, I had, I think it was like just over two months of expenses saved, uh, between two and three months. But a couple things to remember, I had a job lined up already and I'd already paid the uh, deposit on a place to rent. I already signed a lease because I came out here for a week, found a job, found a place to live, signed the lease, had already paid the deposit, and I had a job lined up. And even when I got out here, I knew it was still kind of risky those first few months, so my first few paychecks, if I did not absolutely need to spend the money, it was getting saved. I did that probably for the first two months I got out here, saved, more, saved even more money to build up more of an emergency fund for myself. So a lot of it's gonna depend on your risk tolerance. If you're a young single person, you have no kids, you have no other real major, major obligations, maybe you move out here with one month of money saved. If you're willing to work you know, two jobs, you're willing to do what you need to do to make it happen to survive, you can probably get away with that more so than somebody who's got a family. If you don't have a job lined up, or even if you do have a job lined up, you wanna have several months of expenses saved if you're the young single person. That's what I would recommend. If you don't have a job lined up, maybe you wanna have six months or more of expenses saved. Uh, if you have a family, then obviously you've got a lot more weighing on you than just a single person. So for families, I would say you probably wanna have six months or more. Whether you have, um, if you have a job lined up. If you don't have a job lined up and you're coming out here with a family, Man, you are probably gonna to wanna to have more than six months because that can be a really stressful situation if you're coming out here with a family with no job lined up. That is a tough situation to be in. So that's what I would say. You need to have at least a few months of expenses um, for the single person. Even if you have a job lined up, if you don't have a job lined up, look at going six months or more. You're coming out here with a family, I would say you probably wanna have at least six months um, saved up. Even if you're transferring out here with a job, because those first few months are rocky enough when you come out here, and then if you've got the financial pressure on top of that, it can make it even worse. So, 
that was what I, that's what I would recommend to people. Write out your budget, know what you need to live off of right now where you live, and then use that and you can estimate what you think it'll cost you to live out here in Vegas. Give yourself some cushion. Do not try to penny pinch, okay? You want to start off on the best foot you can out here, all right? So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Questions, comments, put them down below in the comments section. I am Jacob, and this is My Life in Vegas.